Deep within the womb of time, the creature thus be born. The creature thus be born. The creature thus be formed. And ye of years, forty bells will chime when the heavens open up and drink from the silver cup. The creature thus be born. The creature thus be born. A motherfucking 40. That's right. My birthday was on July 11th. That's 711, which is the same name as the convenience store 711 here in the US. And every year on my birthday, I go get a free Slurpee because on 711, 711 gives free Slurpees. Except this year because of the coronavirus. They're like, no free Slurpees this year, guys, unless you have some bullshit cards. I don't have your bullshit cards, all right? So what did I do about it? I made my own Slurpee. It was a complex chemical formula of blending ice, club soda, Kool-Aid, and grenadine, but I figured it out. I solved the riddle, and now I can have free Slurpees whenever I want to pay for the ingredients. Hmm, that's not exactly the same, but you get the idea. I made it happen. I turned 40, and I wasn't going to not get a Slurpee on the 7-Eleven where I turned 40, so... Fuck that. We did it. Celebrations. We did it. And until next time, safe travels. What? That's not enough video? Jeez, a guy turns 40 once in his life. How is that not enough for you? Okay, fine. Let's talk about the channel. Now that I'm 40, I'm taking a good hard look at this channel. It has nothing to do with the fact that the channel is about to be a year old and I just happen to be looking at it. So, here's what I've noticed in the trends. I have a good solid group of people that watch everything I do, and then I got some people that only watch some of the things I do, and it seems like I get more views when I just talk about serious stuff, or when I talk about, say, mythology, uh, occultism, things of that nature. Now, obviously, some of that is because some of my viewers came from the old occult channel, I get that, but it seems like there's a genuine interest even when I just talk about current day topics or philosophy or anything of that nature as well. So I'm starting to wonder, maybe I should calm down on all the crazy and talk to you guys like we're just having a conversation. Now, I'm never really going to calm down on all the crazy, but you know what I mean. Maybe I need to start moving the channel in the direction of just talking about my life and talking about whatever happens to be the conversation of the day and talking about philosophy, uh, mythology, things like that, things that I'm interested in. Maybe that's where we're going, or maybe not. Maybe it's almost fall, and fall is when PP Sorcerer is supposed to return for the fall. So yes, there will be PP Sorcerer videos coming out in September. That is already a definite, no matter how this conversation goes. But what happens after that? That's the question I want to have. I can see definite value in moving this channel more toward just a discussion between audience and me about these things because A, that's way easier to do than all the production time it takes to make things like The Kelroy Explains, and B, uh, it gets more views, it seems to be more well received, so maybe that's what you guys like. But this is where the question part comes in. Let me know in the comments below if you actually do prefer the videos that are a little more serious, a little more just one-on-one -on -one personal, or if you prefer the series that are crazy ramps, or if you prefer the videos that are The Keldor Explains, or music videos, or things like that, or if you kind of like all of it. I ju I'm just curious to kind of poll the whole audience here on what's going on. If I look at my analytics, it looks like the more serious discussion conversation pieces are what does the best. They get the most thumbs up, they get the most views, they get the most shares. So it seems like just being me talking to people has the most value for the channel. But I don't know, maybe I'm missing something here. So let me know. Thank you in advance for that. Thank you to the Circle of Magi. And if you are a member in Patreon, don't worry, we're still doing the same thing we already were doing. We're doing all the cringe music stuff as I go through creating the reboots of all the old music. We're doing all of the uh, the history of the Keldor audio segments as I put those up on the other realms of the Ancients channel. And we're doing the Psycho Mind series 
and the the Kilroy Investigate series. None of that is changing right now. Although, depending on the answers I get here, I may also put a poll up there to see if maybe it makes sense to do more Psycho Minds and less the Kilroy Investigates or things of that nature. Just to kind of poll the audience on that. Now, the interesting thing for me on this is that it's actually way easier to just do things like Psycho Mind and things like Talking to the Camera, but I kind of have a passion for the other stuff too, so I'm willing to do the extra work for it, so I'm kind of on the fence about it. It's like, you know, I could definitely rein that back to like a once in a while thing and mostly just talk to everybody. But is that what you want? I don't know. I don't want to just use the statistics and say this is what counts is what everyone's thinking. So let me know in the comments below. I'm 40. It happened. I made it. I crossed that line of four zero. Shit, what happened? Where'd the screen go? Ah, shit, I went to another dimension. Damn it, I went into 4D. I knew this was gonna happen. Hold on, let me come back to 3D. Wow, that was crazy. Okay, guys, sorry for that. I'll try to keep myself here, but now that I'm 4D, it's hard to keep things stable.